Okay, let's talk a few minutes about reference frames or coordinate systems. Inside of Muse, we can establish our own reference frame. Uh, the icon is located here, second left to right uh, on the top row. And I'll bring this into position. And there's really two types of reference frames we can create. We can tell it to use the world reference frame which would be the home position of the microscribe uh, as it's homed, or what's more commonly used is a custom reference frame. So utilizing the custom reference frame, we're going to supply a point or position for the origin, the X, and the Y directions. Uh, let's, before we start, let's talk about the help menu just a bit because it's got a lot of good information about reference frames inside of the help menu. And I highly recommend that you read uh, this help menu. It'll only take you a few minutes and this will help, help you better understand uh, what we're creating here. But let's go ahead and do an example for the video. So we're going to create a custom reference frame. And the three pieces of information we need to know are the origin, the x direction, and the y direction. Let me slide this over just a bit so you can see my camera view. And uh, I, on a piece of notebook paper I have uh, drawn out just a simple coordinate system. Uh, the intersection of the x, y, and the y line will be 0, 0, 0. So if this is the intersection and we go from left to right for x, this would be x positive. And again, if we go perpendicular to x positive uh, in this direction, this would be y positive. And based on a Cartesian coordinate system, if we have x positive and y positive in these directions, then z positive will come straight up off the desktop, which will establish z positive. So let's go ahead and digitize these points. So we'll bring our microscribe into place. And I'm going to use the hand switch to go ahead and take a point. So I'll place my probe at 0, 0, 0, take a point. We get the green checkbox there on our software. Let's go ahead over here in the Y direction and we'll take another point. And let's go in the X or excuse me, the Y positive direction. And we'll take the third point. So now we've established those three points. We'll go ahead and say OK. Now let's see how they apply to the, the, the real world or uh, a piece of software. So let's bring in an Excel spreadsheet. Now I've already de, uh, or I've already set up the Muse software so that it will run with the string command for Excel. We'll go ahead and uh, let's make a few notes here for you to better understand it. Let's call this column X, let's call this column Y, and let's call this column Z. Uh, just so you understand how this data is going to come in. And this naturally, column A will be X, column B will be Y, and column C will be Z. So let's go ahead and take a point. So we'll bring the microscribe back into that position. Take the point. Let's go ahead and take an X positive position. And let's go ahead and take a Y positive position. So now we can look at the data a little bit. And bear in mind that I'm digitizing a piece of paper so th these measurements aren't going to be perfect they're really just for an example so if we look at our first measurement which was here at 0 comma 0 comma 0 we can see that relatively it is 0 0 and 0 to a certain extent alright let's look at the second measurement which was the X notice that X increased significantly and Y stayed relatively the same so if we go to our Y measurement now we can see that X stayed relatively the same to the zero, but Y increased significantly. So this is a good example of creating the custom coordinate and having it report properly inside of an Excel spreadsheet. Now again, I clarify these measurements aren't perfect, but keep in mind I'm just digitizing a piece of paper that's moving slightly. So, thank you.